Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the PH Toolbox. Um, yeah, so we're going to be carrying on from the previous episode into now. Basically, just a few packages I recommend um, whether you a first time coming to South, to Africa or you're an experienced African hunter. Um, these are just some of the animals that I've put together in a package that I suggest um, you guys inquire about at these shot shows. Um, and just ask a few questions and maybe it it's to your guys liking whether you're coming over with a family member or a friend um, maybe you can look into building these packages up with whatever outfit you'll be coming out here with um, before I get into it big thumbs up to trees and camo uh, I've been saying this for a couple of years now that uh, us as PH is especially in the South African bush fault we desperate for a decent camo and Treason have definitely delivered on this. Um, they're fantastic, they just last so much longer. I've been using them now for a couple of hunts. So excited to use them for the 2020 season. Um, I just find they're really just great quality and um, yeah, just fantastic blend in the bush. Um, they really just fit in really, really well. So big shout out to Treason Camo. And next up is uh, Max's Tires. Um, I'm using the Razor Mud Terrains at the moment, the mining spec, um, they've been fantastic. Uh, we've fortunately got a bit of rain over the past few weeks, so I've been playing around in the mud with them. Um, they've been really good. Uh, they handled the rocky terrain extremely well. They come with a three plus sidewall, uh, so the punch resistance all there. Um, yeah, so if you guys are looking for a decent tire for the 20 season, uh, or the new decade going forward, Max's tires is definitely one of the premium stuff out there. So give them a give them a like or a share on social media and um, yeah, just go down to your nearest dealer and find out a little bit more about Max's tires. And then to everyone out there that's um, supported me on this journey thus far, um, like I said in the previous episode, YouTube is new to me, trying it out. Uh, I'm having so much fun doing it. Uh, it's getting better each time. Um, my editing skills are a little bit rusty, but we're getting into it. So um, if you haven't yet, I would appreciate it if you click the subscribe button, maybe add a notification or thumbs up, whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, just appreciate the support so far. Um, really looking forward to 2020 and the decade going forward. So without further ado, um, let's dive into the next package. a lifetime. Okay guys, cool. So um, this package particularly I would maybe suggest between seven and ten days. Leaning more towards the ten days and I'll tell you why a little bit later. So, this I'm going to label as a pH guards package. Um, it's got everything that you need from whether you've been over to South Africa before or whether you are still a first timer coming over. There's a few animals, there's a few species in there that might be appealing to you. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first one on my list um, is originally known for a desert animal, but they've done quite well um, in South African environments, especially in the mountainous ranges, uh, especially where we are. Um, they've been doing exceptionally well, and that's the Gemsback, better known as the Oryx, or as South Africans call them, Gemsback. Um, they're really unique animals, probably one of the most iconic animals as far as Namibia is concerned. Um, they origin, I think they originated from Namibia, they came from the Kalahari Desert, um, moved over so yeah they really unique animal um they just they just look so cool um they're pretty light in in skin color got straight horns females and males have got horns Nor generally you'll find that the females have the longer set of horns with the thinner uh, mass and the males obviously the thicker mass uh, shorter stubbier horns and that's all due down to male dominance uh, fighting um yeah just all around cool animal um, to me it always looks like they're wearing a mask 
uh, with the white and black in the face. Um, um, pretty good eating. Uh, I enjoy uh, Gemsback meat. We normally make biltong out of them. Um, but yeah, just a fantastic animal all around. Next on the list is the hot to beers <coughs> or hard to beast. Um, this falls under a lot of uh, Alfred has uh, put it or categorized it under the beast package uh, with the Vilda beers um, being added to that as well. They're really unique. They've got um, a red color. Obviously, different areas tend to differ a little bit as far as how dark the color may be, the color variation. Uh, weird looking horns where they come forward and back. Um, again, males and females have both got horns. Uh, how you distinguish between the two of them. Uh, the males normally have a heavier set than the females. Um, Body mass is pretty much similar, but the males do get to tend to get a bit, a little bit more stocky. Um, yeah, they're just they're pretty cool animals. Uh, long, uh, thin faces, really, really neat animals. I enjoy hunting them. They normally travel in big herds. Um, obviously, the males have their um, during the breeding season have. Um, the dominant bull that always sticks out and you can pretty always you pretty much pick him up most of the time when he's dancing around the edges of the herd chasing a few young bulls or whatever the case um, but yeah for especially for this package uh, hard to bears is definitely um, number two on the list in this specific package um, just a great animal then next up on the list um, is the eland and um, specifically the Cape eland. Um, in some parts of South Africa now you do get the Livingston. Uh, that's a little bit for uh, another day. But uh, at the moment I would definitely, which does deserve a spot in this package is the Cape eland. Um, massive animals, Africa's largest animal, well that will uh, antelope. Um, the Lord Derby is, but it's part of the, the Elam family. Um, they fall in the spiral package. So, um, yeah, they, they're just unique. Got long straight horns, spiral, beautiful nice fringes on the mature bulls. You'll normally find a mature bull between 8 and 10 years old. Um, rubbing their face in the mud and just big blue necks uh, with a dewlap. That thing that hangs below its chin is a dewlap. Um, just all around beautiful animals and who wouldn't want one of Africa's largest antelope. So yeah, Eland uh, definitely number three on the list and deserves a spot in this package. Uh, next up, uh, I'm just so excited about this one. Uh, falls on the spiral horn anim animals uh, like your Eland does is the bushback, specifically speaking, the Cape bushback. And why I'm getting so excited about this is this is my favorite animal of all time. I love hunting them. Um, I just think they're the most beautiful African species out there. Personal opinion, again, um, they really are. They're fantastic looking, especially in the Eastern Cape. Um, we get the darker color with the beautiful white spots um, on their rear ends. Um, I've been hunting now, and I don't know whether I should be ashamed or or, um, <laughs> or proud of this, but I hunt me, I've hunted many bushback with many, many clients, and I've never, ever, ever shot one of these for myself. And the reason is, is just, I know that that moment's just hanging out there for me um, when it comes around. I've been out so many times every single year since 2008, I've been out hunting for one. I've had, I've had a chance or two, um, but buck fever gets the best of me. That, to me, is the ultimate animal. Hunting it is incredible. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of planning, um, a lot of perseverance. And it is one of the reasons why I suggest 10 days on a seven animal package. Um, spend that extra time looking for a decent quality bushbuck. Um, yeah it's it's just an incredible incredible animal i really enjoy it uh, the females don't have horns they're a little bit lighter in color like the inyala are i'll get into that next um but your bushback rams are just they're just so fierce looking and uh, you know you normally hunt them early morning late evening i've had more success in the evening than i have in the morning 
um, although different areas do differ um, but yeah just a beautiful animal uh, my personal favorite and I'm hoping 2020 is my year to harvest my first one um, really good eating I enjoy it a lot of people don't uh, it's got quite a unique taste as far as the the wild meats concerned so uh, a lot of people turn it into biltong or chili bites or or um, or dry sausage but uh, to me it's it's really neat eating they they're quite aggressive um, they're extremely aggressive actually a, a lot of dogs get killed on them uh, guys send once they because because they stay in thick habitat once that shot goes off a lot of guys send their dogs in after them and uh, once the dog bays it's not scared to come for it so a lot of guys have lost a lot of good dogs um, hunting bush back in yeah it's just they they really are an incredible animal specifically the cape bushback you get the chobe and the limpopo but east cape for me is number one next up on the list <clears throat> is another one of my favorites and I, I tend to lean a little bit more towards the spiral dawn animals and this one's the inyala uh, i really enjoy this animal it's got beautiful bell-shaped horns the females don't um, have any horns they're light in color a little bit more orangey the nyalas are beautiful they've got uh orangey shins um dark in color white stripes long manes um beautiful animals really just um stick in there um they like the thicker shrub again like the bushback and you typically find them uh in clearings when you're hunting them you wait for those clearings to come out uh, and then make plans from there a lot of walking stalk a lot of spot and stalk um, amazing animals again part of the spiral hornet family so it falls under the bush bucket and kudu so definitely uh, deserves a spot on the list is the inyala next up is the sable and the reason why i put a sable in this package is because at this particular time uh, as far as outfit is concerned and pricing it is not there, there's never been a better time to come over to africa and hunt to sable and the reason why i say that is their pricing is extremely competitive compared to where the prices were five six years ago um i call them the knights of the bush beautiful dark animals with white underbellies um big horns that curve back um yeah normally um back then we would settle for a uh, decent size sable between 37 and above uh, now you would want to get into the 40 inch range and above um fantastic animals and yeah they call the knights of the bush for nothing uh, you do get various um different sables this particular one is calling the southern sable uh, which normally has been bred up into the east into south africa so yeah just um they're really unique animals and they just add a little bit of that executive look to your trophy room you know that prestige um big chest uh, animals common way to that most people decide to mount them is uh, on a pedestal with the chin sort of flexing their chest out with showing the the big curve on their horns both females and males have horns um they're pretty far to find a dominant male and in the wild they are known to fight to the death uh, over females so yeah they're pretty unique animals and um savage when they come to to breeding breeding time but um it deserves a really really special place on on this package and um yeah like i said if you go into the shot shows um if you are wanting to come out and um hunt in africa and you've been before you never got a sable now's the time the market's never been better um you're going to get a good price for it um and i do predict in the next few years it will turn and they'll start getting their um their value back uh, as time goes on yeah and then um last but not least and this is an extremely special animal to me and um i'll tell you why let's go hey guys cool so <clears throat> this big boy behind me is the reason why a hunt um was one of the reasons why i became a hunter um, and that was to share 
special moments and special memories with extremely special people. And um, like I did with my first aunt with my blessed back, I shared it with my uncle and my dad. Um, this guy right here, and the last place on my package, um, I was very fortunate to share with an extremely good friend of mine in 2018. Um, this bull was exceptional. This is a waterbuck. Um, they're commonly uh, recognized or they're easily um, picked up in the felt from their bullseye on the rear end. Um, but this bull, particularly for me, has a very special place in my heart. Um, I hunted it on one of my very good friends, uh, ranches just outside of um, Alawal North on the border between the Eastern Cape and the Free State. <clears throat> I hunted it on a special place in his art and um, unfortunately a few months after the hunt he, uh, he uh, tragically passed away. Um, it's something that I'll never ever forget and it's something I hold very very dear to me um, and that's why I give this animal the utmost respect it deserves. Um, it stands tall in my house, uh, I show it off to a lot of people um, but they're magnificent animals. Um, they got the oil on their skin for the water, they typically like the water and they hang around in the swampy areas normally. <coughs> Um, they've got the oil on their skin, you can smell it, um, it's not good if you touch the meat with it. But yeah, fantastic animals. Um, this bull was an exceptional bull. Um, I'm so proud of him and I, I, I'm so fortunate to have shared it with such a great person. Um, and that's why he stands beautiful and tall in my dining room. Um, I had this little plaque made just as a little gesture of appreciation to a great hunt, um, a great piece of land, and a fantastic human being. And um, he'll forever be in my heart. This, this hunt I'll remember for a very, very long time. So that's the end of the PH guide package. Um, yeah, if there's anything you would like to know about it, hit me up in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe or hit the notification bell. Um, I really appreciate it. Once again, guys, thank you so much for um, all the support. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been so, uh, I get so excited doing all these videos for you guys and just sharing the pas passion I have for the outdoors and hunting in Africa. And um, yeah, without us, remember, moments like this and species like this aren't gonna be around for much longer. So yeah, guys, uh, just thank you so much for everything. And um, yeah, look forward to doing the next one. Stick around. Um, I'll be diving into um, pests and maybe a little bit of the tiny tent. Uh, but from now, that's me. Have a good one. Happy hunting. Cheers, guys.